Hello everyone, today I'm here for CC Design. It's preview day four and I'll be putting this card together. First I'll show you the new stamp set. It's the skunks and here are the two sentiments I used and the three little skunks that I put on this card. They're so cute. And the coordinating dies to go with it. This is the new uh, Heart Inches dies. And I also used the Scallop Rectangle die and I had to extend it by one of the Scallop just to make it a little longer so that heart one heart layer would uh, work with it. And these are from Jada Blossom, just the little banners. Five and six and one fourth is the size of my base of card. And this is the inside, and I stamped one of the new uh, sentiment on there. I'm just gonna glue that, glue it in to my card base, just to make it a little stronger, and to dress up the inside a bit. And I use the same pattern paper, uh, just so it all matches, as I always do. And just have to cut that little piece off like that and the little skunk that little one I'll be coloring a little later in this video and I'm gluing one of the hearts and that's from just a negative of that die I'll put that on this side for till later. And I'll put this scallop part just directly on. And here I'll show you, this is the size it goes. So just one little scallop longer and it fits perfect. So I'll just glue that directly down. And like that. And I'll do the same with the heart layer. Just glue it all directly down. No layers here. I'm just gonna put my little skunks uh, with dimension. There you go. Make sure it lines up. I love this die, it's super fun. And here I'm just gonna glue a couple of the red hearts back in just to have a little different. I was debating on doing a shaker or just a flat card. And I just wanted to focus on the super cute little um, skunks that we have today showcasing. So that's what I did. The one with a little thumbs up there. And just position that perfect there. And I'm going to glue my little banner. And I'm going to layer it on red. All the information usually is all on my blog. So I usually link my blog to my videos. So if you ever want to go look at all the details, you can find them on my blog. So I'm going to put some pop dots on that little skunk too. And just putting my banner where I want it to be so it looks like he's just um, standing on my little banner. So he's not floating around and just glue that directly down. But like I said, not too many uh, layers on this one. And just line that up so it's flush on the card base there. And there it is. Cute, cute. So now I'm gonna put some enamel dots on, just so just to fill up the card a little bit more. 
some more interest to look at. So, there it is. Too cute. So now I'm going to go and color my one that's going to be in my card, the little skunk that's just laying there. I thought he'd be cute inside. So I colored him C5 for where the black part of the skunk would be. So I didn't go too dark with him. And as always, I always bring my color pencils at the end just to do some shading to darken it up and this one didn't have like the lines to separate like in between the forehead and where the nose is so I had to kind of guesstimate here and because I want it to look like the ones on top of my card so that's what I'm doing there thinking where it's going to be so I'm going to do his little chin too because the other ones were with the chin color too. So I'm just thinking there where I'm going to put my lines and just draw it in. So there. So I'll leave that in white. So I'm just going to bring my pencil and do a little bit of shading where the white is. So I hope you are liking all the preview days so far. Tomorrow we have a blog hop, so you won't want to miss that. I have my card all done and I have my video, just have to edit it and do the voiceover. And I love that card, super fun. So uh, I'll have a video for that. So if you want to subscribe to this channel, you won't miss all those videos as soon as they come up. Right there I'm just blending with Gamsol and my nib yes this release was super fun super cute as always I'm all about coloring so these little characters are so fun and they're not you know difficult or or anything too like little skunks and there I have my gel pen to do the little nose so it's like right dark and I got the RV11 for the little ears and here I started with the black pencil to darken up my little skunk and I'm doing it really light as you will see I'm gonna do another excuse me another layer after I rather go a little light on my pencil and then put another layer later on instead of trying to blend it and it's just too dark so I'm just blending Hope you everyone had a good holiday. The holidays are all done now. While I was doing my other video for uh, Tuesday, it was New Year's Eve on that one. So this one, it's uh, Sunday. I'm doing good this time. I'm not the last minute. I'm. I'm getting there. So I'm just blending all my blacks. And I did put some of the black too on the white part just to darken it up a bit too. So there it is a little closer 
look how sweet they are and I'll just show you what I meant on the forehead kind of so it just matches the ones on top and I'll just glue him inside so whoever gets the card they get a little surprise when they open it up and there it is how cute is that I find they are, are super super cute and I just wanted to show you that the extra one I put inside just so just to dress it up and I'll bring back the new stamp and dies that I use for this card and they will be in the store tomorrow if you want to go check it out and I'll bring back my card hope you like it and I'll see you soon bye